Yes, it is, Jen, it is. And if you can just see right here, and we're going to be diving into that in a second, but I just want to give you a quick lay of the land here. Look at all these amazing like people who have started to show up. It's only 10.30, just past 10.30. And we, I can see hundreds and hundreds of people just lining up over here, waiting and just scrolling through all these different beautiful art pieces. And this is just one side of the art fair. There are 30 blocks of this art fair, over 1,000 artists taking part, so it's huge. It's, it's, it's the largest juried art fair in the country. One of the artists that we're going to be speaking today right now is Chuck. Hello, Chuck. Thank you for joining us this morning. Now, the one thing that is unique about your art is you, first of all, uh, sketch them and then yep, yep. you scan and color them. Yep, it's all like pen and ink uh, drawings originally and then I scan them in on the computer uh, and then add the color digitally. So like some of these are like a big black and white drawing originally uh, and then I add the computer digitally and then it's reproduced uh, either as a digital print or a screen print. What, what is the average price point? Uh, I'd say on average around $30. Uh, they go up to like 60 or 70 uh, and like all the way down to 10 for some of the smaller ones. But I'd say average around 30 Gotcha. And I also wanted to show the viewers here. I don't know, John, if you can sort of pan right there. Oh, yeah, I don't want to see the originals. <laughs> yeah, 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 just to see the originals. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Right, right there. And so that's the original. Can you just walk me through right there with it? Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the, uh, the process real quick. Um, like, so this is like the original pen and ink drawing uh, right here. So it's like you can see like, you know, there's like a coffee stain and it's all just like ink work uh, that I drew in my sketchbook. And then I scanned it in and then here is the reproduction uh, with all the the digital coloring and you know removed coffee stain and um, you know the the reproduction is much cheaper. Uh, it's a digital print and you know uh, so that's kind of my my work process. Awesome. Uh, with that. That's re that's uh, really a mix, a mix of traditional and digital. Now now you're from Min Minneapolis, yeah, right? Minneapolis. And um, so can you walk me through how important fairs like this is for artists? Uh, traveling around uh, to different fairs, I think, is uh, very important, uh, especially for like like middle tier artists. Um, like when I was a kid, I didn't know it was possible to make a living as an artist. I thought you were either a starving artist or like a millionaire taping bananas to a wall. You know, like. I, I didn't know, so I think these fairs are very important for like the, the artists that are just, you know, making a living, paying their rent, and you know, I think it's very important for there to be like a middle class lane for, for the art world, and I think that's what these fairs are great for. Chuck, thank you so much for sharing that with us, and of course, this right here is on Washington Street, so you can come down here and check it out. Th over a thousand artists to explore, 30 blocks. This is the Ann Arbor Art Fair. It's the last day, it's free to attend, there's loads of parking. So there should be no excuse. Jen, for now, it's back to you. I look forward to seeing you here. The clock is ticking. Paraz, thanks so much. We're going to let you go. I know you have plenty more art to check out there in Ann Arbor.